I'd like to call to order the Plan and Zone Commission meeting of today, Tuesday, August 31st. I want to thank everybody for their attendance. I want to remind the audience that cell phones need to be turned <laughs> off or they could interfere with our video and audio recording. Uh, we'll start off. We have no public hearing tonight. We'll go directly to the regular meeting. Roll call, please, Commissioner Tallman. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Schneider. Here. Lammers. Who? Lam I'm sorry, Lammers. Oh, present. <laughs> Johnson. Present. Tallman here. Ingram. Present. Hepner. Here. Gransgard. Here. Reinhardt. Here. Manus. Here. Garrington. Yep. And Stelk. Here. We have a quorum, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Commissioner Tallman. Report of City Council activity. Okay, um, case F21-03, which is the Oak subdivision, and then case 21, F21-07, which is the Palmer College Foundation first edition, were both approved by City Council last week. Thank you, Laura. Secretary's report. Move the report. Second. Secretary's report has been moved and seconded as printed. All in favor, signify by aye. 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 Opposed, aye. same aye. signature. Hearing none, it will stay unanimously approved. We, how about comprehensive plan, Laura? Anything? Nothing to report. Thank you. We do not have any zoning activity tonight. We will move on to subdivision. Commissioner Tallman. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Just one case, and that's case F21-10, request of Catherine Carty for a final plat of a two-lot subdivision on two acres located at 4837 West Locust Street. Staff recommends the Planning and Zoning Commission accept the listed findings and forward case F21-10 to the City Council with a recommendation for approval subject to the listed five conditions, and I so move. Second. Case F21-10 has been moved and seconded for discussion. Matt? Sure, the subject property is located south of West Locust Street and to the east of Wisconsin Avenue. It's zoned R1, which is our lowest density residential district. And it is shown as residential general on the future land use map. So the subject property outlined in yellow is the farthest south lot of the Cartes subdivision. So this would be for the fifth edition. Uh, the purpose of the subdivision is to split that last lot um, into two to build a new single family residential home. Uh, the lot is does not abut, abut public right away. It's set back roughly 1100 feet from West Locust Street. So lot one would contain the existing house and then lot two would be for the construction of the new single family home. So findings is that the plaque conforms with the comprehensive plan the final plat prepares the area for future development, and the plat with conditions achieves consistency with the subdivision requirements. So staff is recommending approval of the final plat and that the case be forwarded to city council with a recommendation for approval subject to listed conditions. So the first two are pretty standard conditions, uh, that the surveyor sign the plat and that the utility provider sign the plat when their easement needs have been met. Uh, the third is that the applicant needs to submit an updated access, agree access easement and maintenance agreement providing all existing and proposed lots with access rights. Four, to show all existing utility easements on the plat. And then five, finally, to add a note stating blanket, I'm sorry, blanket, underground easements granted for all primary and secondary electric cables pad mountain transformers, electric transformers, primary cables, gas service, gas main, utility poles, manholes, water service, sewer lateral, telephone service, and cable TV service to individual structures and street lights. Thank you, Matt. Um, are you comfortable, is staff comfortable that they'll get that easement issue resolved since none of these properties actually extend out to 
a street? So yes, um, <clears throat> I've talked directly with the petitioner on it and she is working with an attorney to get that in place. Um, two easements are already recorded. It just doesn't go through the fourth edition down mm -hmm. to the subject property. So I think it, it's something very achievable. Okay, thank you. Would the petitioner care to speak to the commission? Man. Could you step up to the podium and identify yourself, please? I am Luke Miller, the surveyor for the subdivision. Uh, Colin Carty is the one that would like to build the home, and his mother, Catherine, is going to grant them the property to split it. And it conforms with all of the residential zoning that I know of. The what Laura had said about the easement being granted, the easement touches the property and it doesn't go onto the property. And we're going to extend that easement for both lots to have access and maintenance. Okay, thank mm -hmm. you. Do commissioners have any questions of the petitioner or to staff? Commissioner Lammers? I wondered if the odd shape of the lots, for some reason, in the past we had one that was kind of configured uh, similar, and, and I know we had discussion on it, but my memory fails me. I don't know what it is. Is there an issue with the, the shape of these uh, lots at all? Um, <clears throat> staff has no issues with the shape of the lot. Um, the, the reason it's shaped that way is to ensure that it does touch the um, access easement, which is gonna extend down and then the, the next home would be um, to the east of the existing home. And then there would be uh, land to the south that would remain open. So uh, we have no issues with the shape of the lot at all. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Commissioner Lammers. Any additional questions? Final call for questions. Roll call, please, Commissioner Tallman. Schneider. Yes. Lammers. Yes. Johnson? Yes. Tallman, yes. Hepner? Yes. Ransgard? Yes. Reinhardt's? Yes. Manus? Yes. Garrington? Yes. Stelk? Yes. Motion carries, Mr. Chairman. That concludes the report. Thank you, Commissioner Tallman. I appreciate your attendance tonight. Um, we'll move on to future business. So uh, just so you're aware, the next meeting is September 14th. That will be the public hearing for some zoning code updates, which will uh, include but not limited to an, a new zoning district around the mall property. It's also my intention uh, after meeting with the executive board to have some minor bylaw changes to present at that time. Communications, anything? Um, nothing to report. Thank you. Any additional business? Commission? Commissioners? Staff? Nothing? Motion for adjournment? So moved. Second. Second. All those in favor of adjournment, signify by aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Hearing none, we are adjourned. Thanks again for your attendance. <laughs>